Well, hello, Warriors. My name is Mr. Van Camp, and I'm the Director of Guidance here at Wabansi Valley. And today I'm here to talk to you about the course selection process for the 2022-2023 school year. But before we get started with today's discussion of course selection and our timeline, I just wanna take a moment to pause and say, you guys are doing great things. We know that the last two years ha have been a struggle for some of us. It's been an adjustment as we get back to in-person learning and what does that mean to be a student at Wabansi Valley. But through all the trials and struggles that some of us have gone through, both academically and personally, you have done fantastic things and we couldn't be prouder of you. So I wanna make sure that you know that over the next couple months, we're gonna be talking a lot about course selection, but we know that just because we're talking about course selection, that the challenges that we faced over the past two years haven't just gone away. So if you ever need anything, please reach out to one of the adult supports that you have here at Wabansi, whether that's your teachers or whether that's a member of your house team, being your school counselors, your social workers, your deans. We're here for you and we wanna support you through whatever you're going through, whether that's picking out classes for next year or whether that's something you're dealing with outside of school. But as for today, today we're really focused in on picking the right classes for next year. Picking out classes and course selection is pretty interesting in itself. If you think about it, you're picking out classes not just for next semester or next year, but you're really picking out classes that will help uh, define your educational journey uh, for your duration of your time at Wabansi Valley and really start influencing uh, time beyond Wabansi Valley when you continue on with your post-secondary education. So given all that, let's start thinking about what do you need to know right now to pick out the best classes for uh, next year? And that starts out with looking at our timeline. So what are those important dates that you need to know about for next school year? Well, the course selection process really starts right now, today in your English class as you're watching this video, and as your teacher is starting to pass out your course selection tip sheet. Everyone should have one of these in your hand right now. And these are really gonna be uh, your guiding map for the next two months as we pick out course selection materials. This will have all of the core classes that are uh, predicted for your year in school, but also a list of all the available elective classes. So you can start thinking about what do you wanna take. There's also that timeline that's built into these documents, along with procedures of how do you actually log into student view to go ahead and select your classes. Uh, what do you need to do if you want to level up or down in a class? That's all right there on that uh, grade level tip sheet. So make sure you hold on to that. Make sure you take that home and share it with your parents. So the next big date, and this might be my favorite date throughout the course selection process, is really our exchange day. Exchange day is this awesome opportunity that you have uh, to visit classes and actually sit in them and hear from the teachers who teach those classes about what makes their courses unique. And our teachers here at Wabansi have worked really hard to put some great experiences together for you. In fact, on Wednesday, January 19th, we have over 80 different sessions where you can go and check out these different classes. So you're gonna have an opportunity to attend four different sessions. Each one is going to be about 12 minutes and it's gonna be packed full of information. And to help you kind of give a focus to that day, I want you to pick out your four sessions based on kind of these four varying priorities. The first thing we want you to do, the first session to pick out is pick out something related to your academic ambitions. We know that over 95% of our students will go on to college, and nearly 99% of them will go on to some form of post-secondary education, whether that's training in the military, college, or a trade school. And that academic ambition is really just looking at what is going to challenge you to take that next step forward with your academic skills. For some of you that might be taking an honors or an AP class, it could be a dual credit experience, or it could really just be uh, as simple as taking uh, an additional core class beyond those graduation requirements. The next type of course that we want you to think about on exchange day is something that aligns with uh, your career interests or your career orientation. 
Are there any good courses here that could help expose you to career pathways that you haven't thought about? Or maybe some career pathways that you're really confident that you want to pursue? Get a taste of those here while you're in high school and can tap into those. And remember, those career-oriented classes don't have to be something that has the career in the title or in a specific department, because we know that today's job market is changing and you can pick up skills from across all departments that will really help you with your future career goals. But we also want you to not just think about the future. We want you to think about your personal interests. Ask yourself, what is something I love to do? What is something I'm really good at, I'm passionate about, I want to know more about it? Um, something that you can have fun with. What's a class that will put a smile on your face? So go find a class on exchange day that really aligns with something you know you love. And you can just take that class to have a little bit of fun in your day. And kind of the fourth thing that I want you to think about on exchange day is how can you have an inquiring mind? What's something that you're interested in, but maybe you've never tried it before? You've heard your parents talk about it. You've heard an older sibling or a friend talk about it. You've seen that teacher in the hallway and they just seem like they have so much fun in their class. Get out of your comfort zone a little bit and try something new on exchange day. So those are kind of the four areas that you really want to look at on exchange day to give yourself a wide variety of options ahead of you. Remember, academic ambition, career orientation, a personal interest, and have an inquiring mind. So what comes after that? Well, then on Friday, January 21st, is the day that Student View opens up for you to actually enter your course request. This is also open to your parents through Parent View. And when you log in, you'll be able to see all the classes that your current teachers have recommended you for for next year. You can kind of get a sense of what they think you're ready for or what they think would be a good fit for you. So go ahead and take a look at those classes. And a lot of those classes might be uh, locked in place for you. And those are the graduation requirements. But take a look at that, see the graduation requirements, see if there's anything you want to change there, and then also start putting in your elective choices. And you're going to have from January 21st up through January 30th to enter your own course requests. But that's not your final opportunity to change those courses because we want to, as counselors, meet with you one-on-one -on -one over the next three weeks. So from January 31st through February 18th, during your assigned math class, counselors will be pulling you down to the office to really look at what you were able to put in there. They'll ask you some questions about sessions you attended on exchange day, and they'll really help make sure that the classes you're picking for next year align with your future goals and your personal interests. So you will have that one-on-one -on -one time with your counselor. But keep in mind, though, that February 18th is the last day that you have to make any changes to your schedule, whether that's changing an elective or whether that's looking at your core classes and leveling up or leveling down. If you have questions on leveling up or leveling down in a core class that was recommended for you, go ahead and look back at that tip sheet that your English teacher passed out to you earlier today. So what now? What should you really be doing over these next, uh, the next week and a half where you have access to putting in your classes and then really the next month where you have that opportunity to meet with your counselors? So the first thing is don't make these decisions in isolation and don't think that you need to rush to pick out your courses. As long as your courses are finalized by February 18th with your counselor, there's not a first come first serve. You have equal opportunity to get into those classes. So take your time. Look at some of the resources that we've published to the student splash page and the Wabansi Guidance Department website. There's a lot of great things that will go more in depth along with our course catalog. So really check that out because there's some great resources there. But also start to have conversations. Conversations with your parent or guardian about where they see you and what they classes they think is a good fit for you. Talk to your friends, talk to your teachers, really get a variety of perspectives on what classes are best for you at Wabansi Valley. And if you have questions, don't think you have to wait until your assigned math class appointment to meet with your counselor. We're happy to meet with you over the next couple of weeks one-on-one -on -one and kind of have that pre-course uh, selection appointment with you to help you walk through maybe how does this class really support your future goals. So remember, Warriors, we're here to help you out. We're excited for this time in your lives when you're making decisions that are going to impact the future. Go Warriors! <laughs>